In the previous episode, you got a great look at what makes this Texas Longhorns football team so exciting. And it's the simple fact that there is so much talent on this team that they can literally beat anybody on any given day. And a 27-7 victory over the number 13 Notre Dame Irish proved that point. But today, the journey continues as we turn the page and move on to week number two to take on the Cow Bears. Hey, welcome back. This is Mike 58 I appreciate you taking time out of your day to join me for the next iteration of my Texas Longhorns Dynasty on NCAA football. Today, we're moving ahead. And not only moving ahead, but we're moving up. The Texas Longhorns, there you see it on your screen. Take a good look, take a picture, freeze it, frame it. The Longhorns are number 23. Still behind Notre Dame, even though they just beat them in the previous week. How's that for voter logic? But things don't always make sense in the game of college football. And as you're going to see today, the opposite side of the coin with the Texas Longhorns is their youth and their inexperience. And talent can only take you so far as we have an interesting and exciting matchup today that comes down to the final minute against California. As you see at the top of your screen, make sure that if you want to jump into the recruiting information and get the updates right now, you can click the link right over that where it says recruiting. Otherwise, if you want to jump right into gameplay, you can do that as well. But for those of you looking for a quick recap and update on the recruiting trail, there we see Charlie Strong. His strength as a coach really is in the recruiting realm. Not much of a game management an on-field boost head coach at this point. we got to build those attributes up. And so his strength really brings in some major oomph when it comes to the recruiting. Let's see what kind of action we got going for us today. And while quarterback is not a major area of emphasis, it's the most important spot on the field, so I'm always going to be looking at opportunities to upgrade that spot. Same thing with running back. You can't turn down that kind of talent. Fullback, however, is a spot that is a major need that we have right now and my strategy early on the first couple of weeks is to go after guys that are heavily interested in coming to Texas guys that are in pipeline states meaning Texas and Florida and I'm gonna try to offer up some scholarships to some of these guys as well that are sitting at the top see if we can't get some instant commits as tight end is another position that we could fill same thing with offensive tackle a couple of good options here from guys some local grown talent, Brandon Stover, a Texas boy himself, and then on the defensive line as well. And we're reaching up into places like Ohio, trying to steal away some talent. And they've got no shame when it comes to the same thing, coming down into Texas, trying to take our best drop of recruits as well. Middle linebacker, another area we've got to fill as Dalton Santos is on the way out. A senior, a solid guy. But we got to find a replacement soon. So that's it for recruiting. No commits today. Let's move you on ahead to the on-field action. It is a thriller. Some back and forth, some up and down. But it's not over until the final seconds of the contest. Stick around and watch it all the way to the end. You won't be disappointed. For the opening kick. We opened up the first game of the season on the road at Notre Dame in the rain. Kind of a gloomy game, but a great result in the end. Today we get the sunshine and we get to play at home in front of the Longhorn faithful. This should be an exciting contest. Let's see if we can establish that run game early and often and take control of this game. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. That was a super run by the halfback. He was that close a nice run by Jonathan Gray. Anybody else might have broke that all the way for a touchdown. But he's more of a bruising, get you a couple of extra yards on contact type of back. He's probably not going to break the big touchdown runs, anything more than 20, 30 yards at a time. Despite the nice drive going, it's fourth down and long. 
Going for it. Oh, and they can't pick it up. It was that in-between spot. A little too long for a field goal. A little too close to just punt it away. They took a chance, and it didn't pay off. The ball turned over to the Cal Bears. And they have no problem moving the ball down the field themselves in a hurry. Cal likes to no huddle, picking up the crucial third down first and goal. Goff takes it, pitches it out. That's going to be an easy touchdown. The Texas Longhorns are facing an early deficit. Daniel Lasko with a touchdown. The Longhorns don't know what hit them. But they respond back, move the ball down the field again. This time on third down, he can't get the pitch off. Tyrone swoops, just not quite aware of what's going on. Had a guy there. The DN committed to him, should have pitched the ball. Going to bring up a long field goal attempt. Let's see if we can't turn that goose egg into a three-point spot. And he shaves the paint off the inside. Pigskin corner pocket. Field goal is good. Three points is three point. Three points. We'll take it either way. And so Cal back on offense. Marching down the field. A nice hit. Oh, he fumbles it. Santos is on the spot. We've got our first turnover of the game. We've got an injured player. Forget adding insult to injury. That's add an injury to injury. A huge hit. The Longhorns recover it. They've got mom. They've got momentum. They've got the ball. Let's hope that guy's okay. Shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And after that kind of a momentum swing, it's a great time to just take a shot downfield. The rush is coming. He's got a man, and he overthrows him. You've got to hit one of these soon. And he scores. And the freshman, the same man that plowed a dude and made him flip end over end against Notre Dame, Devin Eric Clarington, strikes again. It's a good thing the NFL can't have him for a couple years because he is looking like an All-American. He is looking like a Mackey Award finalist already. A quick two-play, 52 yards. So Texas took the 10 to seven lead. Not a lot happened throughout most of the second quarter, but watch out for the last three minutes here. There's Cal striking for a touchdown, taking the lead back 14 to 10. But there's still a lot of time and a lot of action to be had here. And so Texas, oh, look at the juke by work. Oh, another one. Wow. Look at those moves. A minute and a half left to go. Already in field goal position. Outstanding quick response here by Texas. Trying to at least get a few more points on the board and trim that lead down before halftime. Maybe they can even put a touchdown on the board. Yeah, let's try something a little unconventional. A little tunnel screen. Oh, that almost got picked, but it's a touchdown. Texas is back on the top. Make it 17 to 14 after the extra point with only 40 seconds left in the half. And after a mysterious decision by Cal to throw the ball, Texas used two timeouts, add on an incompletion, and the Longhorns are going to get the ball back before halftime. Maybe they can make some noise. Simply looking for a play to get into field goal position. A throw down the seam. The safety bit on the short route. And Covington is in again. Devon Clarington. Touchdown number two. That's his third on the season. He hasn't even played six full quarters yet. What a huge swing. Cal up by four. With 40 seconds left in the half, Texas scores a touchdown. Gets the ball back, scores again. 24 to 14, your halftime score. Spread the field in the gun with 
And then in the second half, Cal starts with the ball. Already facing a third and long. Texas, a little bit of pressure. Completes the pass to Goff, but Treggs is down short. Texas going to get the ball back again. And with it, they convert it into a drive and another three points on the board. Just stretching the lead a little further out. There he goes. He's got the corner. Uh, but Jared Goff, he doesn't care. Single-handedly putting this game back on his shoulders, getting the Cal Bears back in the game. It's suddenly a one-score game with two minutes left in the third quarter. I've got a feeling it's going to be like this the rest of the way. As a matter of fact, I can promise you it's going to be like this the rest of the way. And by rest of the way, I mean right now, because after a swoops interception, Cal is right back knocking on the door. Texas is on their heels as hot and fast as they finish the first half is as fast as they've fallen touchdown, and Goff there. is in with another rushing touchdown would somebody stay on the perimeter to stop the read option the Bears are going to be up a point after this extra point and he converts the extra point and just when you thought things possibly can't get any worse Swoops goes out, throws another interception, and Goff wastes little time putting another touchdown on the board. This game went from well in the hands of the Longhorns to completely upside down. A 35 to 27 contest. This is going to be difficult to come back from, but don't tune away just yet. And while time's passed, Cal got another interception and a field goal. The Longhorns answer back. They've got to put some kind of points on the board to make this a possibility. Throw up another field goal of their own. Time is ticking away. There's less than three minutes to go. And a crucial stop for the Longhorns. But unfortunately, Cal is still in field goal range. It's an eight-point game right now. If this thing goes through the uprights, it might be impossible to come back from this deficit. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Oh, it looked like it was going to fade, but it stuck inside the post. An 11-point Cal lead. Two minutes left to play. Can we make the miraculous comeback? He heaves it deep. Doesn't get there. In the desperation, he falls to the turf. But yet again, Cal gets the ball back, and we force him to punt with a minute left in the contest. There's still a slim chance that the Longhorns can come back in this game. Oh, and it's probably a good thing that pass wasn't on the mark. But we've got to get more consistency out of swoops. That's the type of pass we need. Warwick almost broke one free. This guy has shown some speed and agility in this contest. We're going to have to just chuck one up and see if he can go get it. He launches one for the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Longhorn. Oh, when Ja'Cory Warwick... Gets behind the safety, who looked like he stepped up to squat on an out route. It wasn't happening. We were going vertical the whole way. Blows by them both. 25 seconds to go. We're going to go for two and see if we can't make this a three-point game. So Gray punches it in. It's not likely, but we've got a shot. The onside kick. I've never executed one of these before. Today could be the day. Texas lines up with their hands team on the field. If they don't get the ball, then this one's in the books. And he's taken down. Well, we gave it a shot, made a valiant effort to come back. Too many mistakes on defense. Probably too many mistakes on the offensive side, too. Not running the ball more when we could have just managed the game that way. 
Swoops may not be the best option going forward at quarterback. And meanwhile, we've got some great options at tight end and also Warwick showing his face in this game. So there's plenty of hope. Again, this wasn't going to be a team that would likely contend for a championship in this season, but I hadn't expected this type of a loss this early in the year. This is a tough one to swallow. We're going to have to try to regroup and recover from this, and it's not going to be easy. But either way, I'm ready to bounce back in a big way in a Week 3 contest against Rice. That should be a great opportunity to regroup and really solidify our plan moving forward on the field and hopefully get some positive results on the recruiting trail as well. So once again, thanks for joining me today. And check back soon. I'll see you in the next episode.